So today we've got the newly announced TCL 10 Pro for the unboxing experience here on Unbox Therapy. There are more of them here than you might normally see. That's because TCL decided to sponsor a giveaway. Shout out TCL. Head over to my Twitter account for your chance to win one of these. There'll be a tweet at the top of my account. You just retweet it, it's simple. You know the drill at this point. Next vision display, 64 megapixel AI quad camera. Display greatness with unparalleled visual power, FHD plus AMOLED display. You love to see it at this particular price point. Brilliant color clarity and contrast, real-time HDR enhancement. 6.47 inch FHD plus HDR 10 video with Netflix certifications. There's a low light video mode, which I'm excited to try out. Of course, we've seen the night mode for still photography. Is this our first glimpse into night mode for video and what that looks like? 4,500 milliamp hour battery in here. It is quick charge capable, not the fastest on the market, but it will charge up to 50% in around 35 minutes. The color on here is called Ember Gray, and it's another thing that I'm excited to check out because this is one of the few devices, modern devices, that is not going to have the glossy finish that you're seeing on absolutely everything. That's, I mean, that's already been served up. We've seen so much of that. I like a little something. I like an option with a matte finish. It's of course a personal preference. Ooh, that feels okay. This thing's gonna be around 450 bucks. Obviously depends on the market that you're in. Very slender. I'm gonna put it down for a moment. Also in the package, of course, you gotta have a SIM card tool. You have, what is this, a case in here? Yeah, you got some paperwork as well as a case to get things kicked off. Also inside the package, we've got the USB type C cable to charge it up and there is the power brick. And that is our first glance. You know what? Look at the shimmer on the back. Like I said, matte finish. It's not a matte finish that's dull though because of the way that it reflects light. It's like a polished, it's like a buffed out, kind of sandblasted type of approach here. Yes, it can resist fingerprints as you can see here. Now this is the most exciting part. This is why I think this particular device is getting attention at the moment. We have seen so many enormous camera humps. It just seems like the standard now. I remember when we first started to see camera humps and people used to complain about it, then people got used to it. And now we have something, we have at least an option where they were able to embed all the camera modules, and there are four of them there, into the frame itself. What does this mean for you? Well, it means that. Look at this, no tabletop wobble. <laughs> when When is the last time I said that? I don't even know, it's been a while. Somebody, some detective's gonna have to go look through the inventory of smartphone videos on the channel to figure out how long ago it's been since we've had that feature. What does it mean? I don't know how, I don't know how much that matters, but from a design perspective, if you can pack them in there, certainly this is preferable. These sections here where the two flashes are, that's right, there's two flashes on here. They do bump up the tiniest bit, but they're symmetrical and it's not even enough to notice it and it does not affect it when it's down on the table. Here you will see your USB type C connector. This is your speaker unit and that's your SIM tray. This side of the unit is where you insert your SIM card. Other side, yes, that's correct, it does have micro SD expansion. Top of the device here, I think a lot of people will be excited to see the existence of a headphone jack. This side over here has your power switch as well as your volume rocker. And then over on the other side, there's a dedicated Google Assistant button so you can trigger Google Assistant with one touch and a physical button. So this device unlocks either with in-display fingerprint or face unlock. This is probably my favorite setup right now on all the different phones that I use. I usually enable both and then just whichever is convenient for the moment, that's what I'll use. Just hold the phone 20 to 50 centimeters from the face. It's a typical setup. Now it's important to note, I mentioned this in every video where we talk about face unlock. If it's optical based face unlock, it's not the most secure thing on the planet. Use Next Vision to help improve your multimedia game, photo, video, visual experience. Automatically adjust contrast, sharpness, and saturation. So this is going to give you a more vivid color on your display, sure, why not? At least they give you the choice. You can turn it on or off. They also give you options straight away for the appearance of your home screen. And this will give you your first look at the interface. You're gonna notice straight away, it's a lot of screen for your body here. We're talking about 6.47 inches in a thing that's actually 
pretty slender to hold and that just comes back to the idea of stretching that display as far into the corners and as far around the edges as possible. This of course is the popular choice, this is what people are doing at the flagship level and that approach is now trickling down into the mid-range or at least in this case into the 449 price point. You can actually see it better, the screen to body ratio, when you open up a white backdrop like this here over to the edges. This is reminiscent of some far more expensive devices as you're probably aware. The notch is in the center there. It's not a hole punch, but it dips down in that central section from the top bar. Now let's go ahead and jump right into those cameras from 1X to 2X all the way to 10X. You can see the texture on the table starts to show up there. We slide over to video mode, portrait mode, super night, and then there's also a pro mode, which of course unlocks your various pro settings. And that's the 1X performance, 2X performance. This is kind of cool. So this is gonna let you see your frame at the same time through three different options. Original, ultra wide, and low light video. So this is a composition tool to allow you to see the difference on each camera in real time. So let's go into that ultra wide setting. Bang, bang, bang. So that's your camera versatility right there. Here we have our 2X zoom. This is your main camera. That's your best camera as usual. Of course, the ultra wide bringing far more into the frame and you know how it is with ultra wides. Those are typically the lowest performers of the bunch. They benefit from tremendous amounts of light and typically work best outdoors. But I love to see it because it means you can fit more people in the frame for a group shot. I've talked about it extensively. For my eyeballs, the main camera is the nicest looking of the bunch. So we are now at the maximum setting for video. It's 4K, 30 frames, and this is the standard lens that you're viewing through. Can it grab the text if I bring that up? Yeah, pretty smooth autofocus actually. And then back to the plant, we move it around. Yes, and back. Let's not forget the macro mode. I'll bring in the Unbox Therapy unboxing knife. The macro mode is sitting inside of the more setting. Also inside of there, there's a light trace mode, stop motion, slow-mo is there, and so is the high pixel option. They say you wanna be between two and 10 centimeters. I'm gonna get that into the light, most certainly. This allows you to see the little lines inside the metal. It's kind of fun to use. Versatility, right? That's why we all got crazy and put a tremendous number of cameras on the back of our, our smartphones. Now, the other thing I'm interested in is this night video. Where is that setting? The low light mode is enabled up here. You can tell it's pretty dim in here. We're down to one light. And I think what it's doing is some type of noise reduction in order to take a frame that would normally look gained up and smooth it out a little bit. It's definitely looking brighter on this camera than it does to my eyeballs. And that gives you an idea of how much video you can fit in here. This is a unique way of doing it. And since I wanted to evaluate the Hammerhead True Wireless, the vast majority, maybe like 95% of the sound coming out of the bottom. So it's a down firing unit. And then a tiny little bit getting ported up through the ear section. I don't know, I might even be crazy. Gaming I can't. Headset. I mean, they don't say it in those terms, but they're razor always with the missing knife yeah you know what why don't we just compare the two of them it's definitely loud enough i just wish there was a little more fidelity a little bit more low end in there they do have a game mode as well fairly basic game mode so that if you launch into it you can block notifications for example do a few other things You can game on it. <laughs> How's this game for actually for a while there? Yeah, so you can game on it, no problem. Snapdragon 675, it'll get the job done. It's not gonna give you any crazy frame rates. The screen doesn't support it either. It's not a gaming phone. I think it's a slim and trim. It's got an executive vibe to it, but it's still packing a flagship feel into it at that 449 price point. Remember I also mentioned this button here. You can set up that smart key to do a number of different things. Single press can turn on or off the next vision enhancement. It can launch Google Assistant. You can launch a Google search. You can scan a code. You can launch the camera. I mean, it's 
there's actually a tremendous number of options of things that you can do. Double press will then enable essentially a secondary button function and the long press can do something else. You can also just turn it off if you want. This of course is something we've asked for from other manufacturers in the past who've given you an extra key, but then kind of not allowed you to do what you want with it. I'm not gonna say the words because I'm gonna trigger everybody's assistant. Okay, fine. Hey Google. <laughs> this is from Google. Anyway, the options are in there. I like options. You like like options, who doesn't like options? Oh yeah, I just forgot, we didn't test out the face unlock even though I registered my face during the setup process. Yeah, and now I'm gonna turn it a little bit just to try out the fingerprint. Probably on this phone, gonna use the face unlock the majority of the time because it is a, it's a bit faster than the fingerprint. For the selfie photo, it doesn't look, oh, there's a little beauty button, but it's on zero by default, well done. It's the way I like to see it. And let's do a little beard hair, a little contrast, three, two. And we zoom in and we have, uh, yeah, we got beard hairs. They're a bit shorter than they have been in the past, but they still work, they do the trick. I think this is also gonna attract people who just are not happy with those flashy, glossy devices that are out there. This one, it's a bit more, it's a bit more subdued. It's a bit more minimalist. You have this streamlined camera layout. It's a minimalist approach without really giving up the features and functions you're looking for. There's still four cameras there. It's almost hard to believe there's four cameras there given the fact that it doesn't bulge at all. So when I was booting up the game, it triggered that Next Vision video enhancement. And so I selected to leave it on. And what it does is it sort of just punches up content like this whether it's a game or something animated, it gives it a more vibrant look to it. 6.47 inch FHD plus AMOLED HDR10, 64 megapixels max on the main camera unit, 128 gig storage, six gigs of RAM. It is expandable through a micro SD card, 4,500 milliamp hour battery, which you can charge 50% in about half an hour. So once again, don't forget the giveaway. There are four of these that need to find a new home. That home could be yours. I'll make it really easy. Go follow me on Twitter and retweet the tweet that's at the top of my account. That's all you have to do. You could win a TCL 10 Pro and own one of the only smartphones in 2020 that you can lay flat on the table and have a no wobble zone. Can you believe it? Imagine that.